Hello there, welcome to this tutorial on capacitors in circuits RC transients. So it's again still to do with the um, time constant tau. So time constant is equal to RC. Okay, so an RC timing circuit has a time constant of 0.56 seconds. So that's 0.56 seconds. The value of the resistor is 15 kilo ohm. So 15 times 10 to the power 3, find the capacitor value. So therefore C is simply um, that divided by this. So 0 0.56 divided by 15 times 10 to the power 3. And put that in the calculator. So we'll have <coughs> um, 15 times 10 to the power 3. That's equal to uh, 3.73 times 10 to the power minus 5. In other words, um, I could change that to um, move that decimal place to the right by one digit and then that makes this number bigger by 10 times uh, and then I can make that uh, smaller which is going to be minus 6 so we can write 37.3 times 10 to the power minus 6 the reason for that is that that, that um, adjustment is so that I can write it as microfarad just a little bit nicer also, if I do want to make this circuit with this capacitor, it's no good trying to find something that is 3.73 times 10 power minus 5. It's all the ways written either in millifarad, microfarad, nanofarad. So therefore, we always you can use those values. So in that case, I can go and look on the shelf to see if I can find a f something near 40 microfarad. Okay, question two. Um, let's use a new page. Um, okay, so an RC circuit has a time constant of 5 seconds. How long should be allowed for the capacitor to be considered fully charged? Well, this is interesting. Um, there's a little trick um, and you only um, realize this if you actually plot uh, uh, the, the, the charging of a capacitor and you do that in a level and you will find this characteristic so it's an exponential curve and it does that okay so it slowly charges up to maximum now what happened is Let's say, so in this case, tau RC is equal to 5 seconds. What we have found in our experiment is that for every RC value, so that's the first RC, because remember this is time, okay? So time on the axis and then uh, how much voltage uh, is going to be uh, uh, charged up to. So when when tau, when we charge it up to, so at 5 seconds interval, it will get to this level. And then the second lots of tau, you get to that level. Third lots of tau, because RC is tau, you get to this. And then 4 RC. And when it gets to fully charged, it's almost exactly 5 RC so there's a convention is always 5 lots of tau uh, roughly approximately so the time for fully charged capacitance is approximately 5 tau so remember that please so 5 lots of 5 so it's going to take 25 seconds to reach its maximum fully charged value.
area.